Guys, Ozzy Griffin here. <clears throat> so, I'm redoing a video I did about psychopaths and two excuses they use. Um, I'm doing it because I hound, wound up losing a subscriber over uh, my comments. Now, first of all, and I'm going to come back to this, I am not a doctor, I am not a scientist, I am not an official researcher, I am a YouTuber giving my opinion based on my experience. End of story. If you can find better research, please put it in the comment section, please post a video response. Do not stay silent. Silence is a cancer. That's what my good friend Richard O'Brien would say. And a big shout out to him. Uh, okay, so psychopaths have no empathy for other people, yet they use two excuses for their bad, antisocial, ultimately purely destructive behavior. One, they have Asperger's. Two, they have depression. I'm going to tackle the quick one first. Asperger's is a, is a symptom where, uh, it's, sorry, Asperger's is a condition on the autism spectrum. It doesn't officially exist as its own condition anymore, which I personally think is a joke. However, that's a whole different thing. People with Asperger's are capable of love. People with Asperger's are capable of empathy. They just can't read your face. They can't read the tone of your voice. They can't read your body language. That's it. End of story. The rest of the time, they're thinking, feeling human beings. They will take morality, consequence, and the uh, lives of others into uh, account when they are dealing with other people. That's it. They just have a really hard time figuring out why people are doing weird things with their bodies all the time. They don't, you know, if you're Italian and you've got Asperger's, you have my unlimited sympathy. Uh, you know. So, yeah, I was going to say something Italian. Of course, my Italian shop uh, these days. Now, the second one comes from my own personal experience. Once again, I, I repeat this again. This is from my own personal experience. Depression. A lot of psychopaths will blame depression for their outbursts and their bad behavior and their destructive tendencies and their uh, antisocial uh, escapades. Don't buy it. If someone has depression, in my experience, everything, when they lash out at people, when they're aggressive, when they're angry about things, the way they'll express it, they still do what most human beings do, which is they're trying to communicate with other people. They're trying to uh, explain themselves, and often to themselves. They are trying to say, this is how I feel, now you understand it. They want to be understood. A psychopath does not care whether you understand them or not. They do not care. If someone does something cruel or mean and there isn't ultimately something they're trying to explain to you or they're not trying to... or they don't say, you see, this is why I did it. If there's, there's no forthcoming explanation, if they're just vindictively cruel, that isn't something you can blame on depression. Oh, it was because of my family. Oh, it was because of my life. Blah, 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 blah. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Psychopaths will love them. Depressed people, you'll find, come back to the same things over and over and over. They are haunted by them. I should know. I've had my bouts with depression. And let me tell you, it comes back, to, from my experience, it comes back to personal inadequacies. When... People feel that they cannot explain things to others when they care about others and they cannot communicate with them. They cannot express their uh, affection for them. They cannot uh, express themselves adequately. Uh, <clears throat> depressed people will go back to these things. However, psychopaths tend to change their story every so often. And when you compare it with other people, they will give radically different accounts based on what the other person wants to hear. A depressed person will give more or less the same story. So, from my experience, that's the difference. Now, as I said before, if anyone can please show better sources or a superior understanding of the subject matter and make a video response, that would be ideal. Uh, or cite uh, journals, studies, anything like that. To explain it better uh, than I can, I will freely uh, take that response. Don't be silent. As I said, silence is a cancer. It kills you slowly. If you, uh, for whatever reason, can't get on 
screen yet you can uh, send me links to the sources I'm talking original source material don't just say I read it in this journal sit you know give me a link so I can read that article from a journal or something like that and then I'll uh, happily read out the research otherwise just uh, make a video of your own relate your own experiences show me where I'm wrong in my methodology or my ex explanation I'm happy for that I'm Ozzy Griffin I can't say more until you do you have a good one.